The list of Illinois sheriffs that say that they are not going to enforce House Bill 5471 continues to grow. You've got Boone County, you've got Douglas County, you've got White County, you've got Iroquois County, you've got Jefferson County, you've got Richland County, you've got Henderson County, you've got all of these other sheriffs, uh, including uh, the, the sheriffs of uh, Henry County and Johnson County and Lawrence County. And there's 102 different counties across the state of Illinois. One that we know is going to support it is uh, Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart. Uh, he testified in favor of banning certain types of weapons and uh, certain types of magazine capacities, holding up like drums and things like that, if you recall, uh, during uh, some of those House hearings. Uh, we're set to talk with Sheriff Jack Campbell coming up here after 6.35 or so, so you want to stay tuned here on WMAY uh, live as we uh, get ready to talk with him about his position on this particular law that the governor signed into law that is now in effect absent any kind of court order that gun rights groups are looking to get as early as possibly February or expecting a lawsuit or multiple lawsuits to be filed as early uh, as next week. Uh, so we'll be watching all of that and tracking that for you here with Springfield's Morning News. Also, uh, you can follow me with Bishop on Air on YouTube or Twitter. Uh, those are really some of the uh, the best places where I update regularly, uh, including news stories and conversations here live on air. Uh, so you can uh, watch that closely. Uh, but with the passage of House Bill uh, 5471, uh, you've also got the question of what happens with gun stores? Gun stores across the state have been watching this closely. Closely, they do plan on filing a lawsuit, uh, but it was uh, it was it was asked of the governor and state representative Bob Morgan uh, Tuesday evening when they signed. What's happening with the gun stores? Uh, what are they allowed to do? Who are they allowed to sell to now? Uh, is it um, you know they're not allowed to sell any of these semi-automatic weapons or any of the uh, magazines that have capacities of over ten rounds for guns or over fifteen rounds for for handguns? Uh, so what's what's really going to happen here? And uh, the governor reacting and getting Bob Morgan to address that. But also we talked with um, uh, Dan Eldridge from Max and Shooters. And uh, here's a little bit of that back and forth uh, over the past 48 hours with the uh, passage and enactments and how gun stores are ultimately impacted and how customers uh, you, the regular Illinoisan, how are you impacted by this? If you're non-law enforcement, you are not able to buy any magazines that are more than 10 rounds for long guns or more than 15 rounds for handguns or any of the listed uh, semi-automatic guns, which there are 170 on my last count when I went through the bill and added it all up. Uh, but here's something else that's interesting about that aspect is uh, that list can change. The Illinois State Police can change that list every October uh, to update the list, to add more guns or to take away guns or whatever they deem fit uh, through rules, they can change that list. So that list can evolve over time. Uh, but uh, here's again uh, Governor J.B. Pritzker, State Representative Bob Morgan, and uh, Dan Eldridge from Federal Firearms Licensees of Illinois and Maxson's Shooters Sports in Des Plaines talking about the impact on uh, gun stores and their customers. Well, there's an. I think I'll let Representative Morgan talk about the effort to talk to gun to uh, the gun dealers across the state and make sure that they're uh, complying and also uh, aware of what the law is. But they are actually there's a provision. Maybe I should ask Representative Morgan to come up and talk about that provision. But they are allowed to um, to ship those goods to other states where it's legal and to sell them. But go ahead. No, no, go ahead, Representative. Hello, uh, State Representative Bob Morgan. Uh, that's correct. Uh, the uh, retailers that have some of these firearms or this, this ammunition, they will be allowed to sell to other states or to those or a number of provisions of continued sale, for instance, to active duty law enforcement that retailers will be able to continue to sell. Well, the Senate inserted a provision that allows us to complete sales for which the background check was started prior to the effective date of this, or prior to or on the effective date of this legislation. So if it's uh, today, for example, any firearm that's purchased today where we could start the background check, we're, we'll still be able to deliver that firearm uh, to the customer. However, there's no uh, similar treatment of magazines. So the magazines themselves would not be deliverable. So we're now in the position of delivering non-functioning firearms to people. 
So the regular Illinois citizens out there, you with your uh, rights under the Constitution, you the people, uh, if you are non-law enforcement, then you can't go and purchase magazines of certain capacities. You can't go out and purchase uh, certain semi-automatic guns, uh, but gun stores will still be able to sell to out-of-state customers. They can even sell to different countries. Uh, manufacturers in Illinois that manufacture guns, and there's several of them in Illinois. Uh, they can sell to out of states, they can sell to other countries, they can sell to law enforcement, but not to the regular Illinois citizen. Some people may see that as you, the regular Illinois citizen, being treated as a second class citizen. Uh, and uh, also the efforts underway to uh, build the database to require you to register. How is that going to be enforced? Uh, we will get to that in more detail here with Springfield's Morning News on 92.7 WMAY. Stay tuned. In about uh, eight minutes or so, we'll talk with Jack Campbell, the sheriff of Sangamon County, and get his take and see if he is uh, also uh, in line with a bunch of other county sheriffs from across the state that are saying that they are not going to enforce the HB 5471, the gun ban and registry law that Governor J.B. Pritzker signed this week. So stay tuned. That's coming up here with Springfield's Morning News. But now at 630, we've got to take a break for some headlines. 92.7 WMAY.